Alright guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here, we're back with another diet tips type of video. Today's video is going to be nice and short, nice and concise, I hope. And it's just going to give you guys an alternative to your classic thing that everyone loves. In fact, people eat it out of the fucking container with a spoon, and that's peanut butter. Now, depending on your brand, obviously there's going to be ones with lower sugar, you know, lower fat, higher protein, etc., etc. But at the end of the day, generally your peanut butters are going to be really, really calorically dense, and that is because they're made up of mostly fat. Each gram of fat has nine calories, each gram of protein has four, and each gram of carbs has four. So if you've got something like peanut butter that is really high in fat, obviously a serve of peanut of this particular peanut butter is one tablespoon, so that's 22 grams. And if you think about a tablespoon, you know, it's not that big, is it? So like anything that's high in fat, such as peanut butter, the serving size that you're going to get for a certain amount of calories is going to be quite low. And when you're on a calorically restricted diet, such as I am right now, if you're trying to cut down for a certain, you know, you're trying to get into a certain size of jeans, or you're trying to do a bodybuilding competition, or you're just trying to get a little bit leaner so that you feel good about yourself, you're going to want to be sticking under a certain amount of calories. And if you want things like peanut butter in your diet, you're not going to be able to have much at all. And that really sucks with me, you know. When I eat something, I hate having a, just a tiny bit, like I hate having to, to break things in half and only have that half, you know. I tend to do intermittent fasting and one of the main reasons why I do that is because it allows me to have bigger meals um, within that eating window. So the last thing I want to do is stop at three, four hundred calories when, you know, I'm, I'm still hungry. Peanut butter does not go well with that kind of thing. You can't eat much of it, especially when I'm trying to diet. So, my ultimate replacement would have to be PB2 powdered peanut butter. Now what this is, is it's crushed peanuts, which crushes out most of the fat. In fact, I think it's 85% of the fat is actually crushed out of these. So this is actually powdered peanuts. And what you go and do is you mix a serving of this, which is actually two tablespoons with some water, mix it up and it makes a really nice tasting peanut butter sort of paste. Um, it is still peanut butter, you know, it's, it's don't be scared um, that it's going to taste bad because it doesn't. It really tastes nice. And as far as you know, the macros go, like I was talking about before, each gram of fat has nine calories. If you press 85% of the fat out of something, it's going to drastically reduce the calories, right? So that's exactly what you get. One serve, which is 22 grams or one tablespoon. We've got 138 calories. We've got 5.2 grams of protein. 11.3 grams of fat, 3 grams of carbs in one serve, which is one tablespoon. That's a lot of fat. If we come over here to a PB2, I do realize there's other brands and other makes of this particular like type of product where they press out the fat, but PB2 is something I've used for the last couple of years. I always trust it. It's sold in Australian supermarkets, which helps. So when it's on special, I tend to grab it. Now one serve of this is two tablespoons of powder mixed with one tablespoon of water, which makes 19 grams. So you've got a 22 gram serve, you've got a 19 gram serve. 138 calories, 73 calories. 5.2 grams of protein, eight grams of protein. So more protein, less calories. You can't go wrong with that. We've got 11.3 grams of fat in this one. You've got 2.4 in this. So, I mean, that's, if you, if it tastes like real peanut butter and you've got like less than a quarter of the fat of normal peanut butter, that's an absolute winner for me. And as far as carbs go, you've got three grams of carbs in here and you've got 4.8 grams of carbs in here. So higher in protein, way lower in fat and around about the same amount of carbs. And you've also got 3.2 grams of fiber in one serve of these. So, whether it be your normal peanut butter or whether it be PB2, I think peanut butter is something that a lot of people can't go without or they feel like they can't go without. 
I mean, I love peanut butter. Everyone loves it, whether you put it on toast, rice cakes. I mean, the beauty about this is that you obviously mix water with it, so you can choose what consistency you want. I mean, if I want to actually drizzle it over something, like berries or like oats or yogurt or something like that, I can mix more water with it to make it more, you know, of a runny consistency. And that's up to me. And it doesn't add any more calories into it. So, you know, this is a fantastic product. The macros speak for themselves. Like I've said, it's got half, pretty much half the calories, um, double the protein, a quarter of the fat, and the same amount of carbs with more fiber. So I absolutely love this product. It comes in peanut butter, just normal flavored, and it also comes in a chocolate flavor, which has cocoa powder in there. Um, today, I just got the normal. And uh, yeah, that would be it, guys. If you guys have any tips for me, if you have any other brands of this sort of product that have better macros, let me know because I'll, I'll you know, I'll suss them out. I'm always all about learning. You know, I'm trying to teach you guys something, but I am absolutely about learning. I love getting constructive criticism. I love people telling me about low calorie options. I think it's fantastic. You know, with flexible dieting, um, you can do that. With If It Fits Your Macros, I don't go 100% on If It Fits Your Macros, but with things like peanut butter, if you want to fit it in to your calorically restricted diet, you're going to want to go for something like this. I mean, it makes sense. So that would be my tip for today. PB2, powdered peanut butter. I still do have some of this, you know, at times, but at the moment especially, I'm trying to stick under a certain amount of calories. Um, this will be the one that I use. And like I said before, you can mix different amounts of water with it to make it different consistency to use it in different things. What a great product. Those are my tips for today. Until next time, have a great day, train hard, and uh, we can all make some gains. Peace.